Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of May in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with your spirit animal oracle card. The card that came out for you is the ego spirit which is number 23 spirit has your back so this is the card that's kind of uh, telling me that some of you might be um you know flying slow low like an eagle or some of you are flying high this is the card that's kind of encouraging you to go f uh, high and see the horizon and see the big picture uh yes maybe you've been going through some challenges maybe you've been it hasn't been easy for you but um, what this card is uh, asking you to do is to look at the horizon, look at the big picture and, and, and see it from that perspective. What is the goal that you're trying to achieve? What is the direction that you want to go to? Uh, aim high. Don't just uh, uh, you know accept anything. Go high, aim high and you're going to be able to achieve it because spirit has your back. The spirit wants you to... Uh, be happy so so think about that perspective that that you know uh, there's something great for you to come now the first card we have here for you in the center of your reading is the tower the tower is a card of big sudden change that happens out of the blue and and turns your world upside down uh, this can be like, you know, uh, when uh, your world, as I said, changes just out of the blue. This can be associated in if you are in a relationship or you were in a relationship with the end of a relationship, uh, a breakup, a divorce that comes out of the blue. Uh, if you are single, you might have been going through some difficult times, some uh, negative experiences uh, that are actually helping you to... Uh, reveal why you are alone whenever the tower comes up uh, it's an indication that you've been in a situation where you've been going in circles you haven't been found finding the way uh, to get out of a situation uh, this can be a relationship because this can be any kind of situation and and the tower is this moment when the universe steps in is stepping in to lift you out of this situation because you haven't made some kind of a decision that you should have and and again like this is the card uh, that's uh, kind of like yes it's not an easy one but the tower is there to bring you something better because you know you built up something right the tower represents whatever you built up uh, but sometimes the tower might be something that you built up that's not real and and it's collapsing because you need to build up something better, something uh, that serves your greater good. Now, not always represents end of a relationship. It might be that something is changing. Like, you know, it might be that the change, the relationship is changing so much that practically it's no longer uh, the old relationship. But let's see what else we have here. Uh, the first card you have here is the chariot. The chariot is the card of victory, the card of success, the card of leaving something uh, behind, something difficult and charging forward, moving forward. This is a card of a movement when you know, things are changing in your life and, and it can be associated with change, it can be associated with control as well. So whenever this card comes up, it can be moving, like physically moving. It can be associated with traveling as well. Uh, but, you know, it can be associated with, with control and letting things happen as well. Because uh, the person, the chariot, uh, she is in control, but she's also letting the universe to guide uh, their direction through with those, those sphinxes. Again, it's also a good indication that, you know, you are... You are uh, you have the right skills, you have everything, what it takes to find a relationship. And you also have here the justice. Um, the justice is the card of balance. Interesting that both the chariot and the justice can mean balance, that you know, some of you maybe need to balance something. Um, 
justice is also a big decision, a life-changing decision. Uh, but it is also um, associated with legal processes. Maybe some of you are going through a divorce of some sort that's, uh, that is a, a legal process. And this is also indicating that there's some kind of a decision that's being made. Um, a decision where you are getting whatever you deserve and it's very karmic it all depends how you've been behaving if you've been good you're gonna get rewarded for it and you also have the fool the fool uh, which is a card of a new beginning a new beginning which is a, a new chapter in your life right this is the very first card of the tarot uh, the card uh, zero that uh, is indicating that you're on a new journey of your life something new is uh, uh, coming in your life and uh, this is the card uh, when you are going into a new direction you're stepping uh, into a new direction that's unknown for you and and it's kind of uncertain as well uh, but you are actually very hopeful uh, you are uh, you are very adventurous and looking forward to this new chapter, new adventure of your life. So, but it can be also a new relationship or a new chapter in a relationship. But I'm very glad to see that you have here the star right above the tower because uh, after the tower comes the star. And the star is the energy of healing, hope and positivity so yes the tower disrupted your world uh, and lifted you up but now the star is indicating that you're hopeful uh, you are actually uh, positive about this change and you are able to see that that yes something better is uh, for you to um, come out of it because you know uh, the star is the card of healing so if you went through something painful, it indicates that you're healing from that. But it is also associated with a wish fulfillment. When you've been wishing upon a star, when you're wishing uh, for something, and the universe is delivering that to you, or it is bringing you something even better than what you wished for, what you dreamed for. I'm very glad to see that. And you also have here the moon, uh, which is the card of Pisces. Very interesting, I don't know if you're noticing it, that for now all the cards that came out for you are major arcana cards, which is an indication that your life is going through some major changes, major transformation as well. Um, so the moon is, is, is definitely a, can indicate uh, being Pisces that you know your energy uh, is, is in this reading. Uh, and you're able to handle the energies that come in. Moon is also associated with uncertain uncertainty and uh, and and fears. So some of you might be kind of hopeful but fearful at the same time through this change that you are going through. And you know the justice uh, has the chariot on top of it, which might be that some of you are coming out victorious in a legal battle that's uh, gonna bring you this new start in life. But you know, moon, yes, it's it's a it can be dark, um, it, it because it's a shadow card uh, in a sense that uh, you're kind of uh, going through this uh, cycle of your life when things are uncertain. But if you're following your inner voice, you're following your inner guidance, this is gonna lead you to your wish fulfillment. This is gonna lead you to something great. So always follow your. Uh, uh, your instinct uh, whenever uh, the moon comes up but let's see what's gonna be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure the, me the message gets out to those who need it the most for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons i'm always very excited to see in the comment how this reading is resonating with the reality of your life and definitely claim the beautiful energy of star of wish fulfillment so in the future you have the nine of swords the nine of swords is the card of 
fear, anxiety, and nightmares. So, yes, you're healing, but I, it's 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 not going to be an easy process of putting this behind you, because you know the Nine of Swords is indicating that you are overthinking something. You are thinking too so much that your fears and anxieties are keeping you up all night. This is the card when you are not able to sleep. And don't forget, sleep is very important to recharge yourself. So, so try to let go of, of those negative thoughts because uh, the Nine of Swords is when the negative thoughts are keeping you up all night. So try to let the, those go. And that's going to be uh, helping you to be victorious. That's going to be able to help you to heal faster from this experience, what you've been going through. And you also have here the beautiful energy of the Ace of Cups with all of those fishes on it. So Ace of Cups is great in a love and relationship reading because this is the card of joy. This is the card of happiness when something new is starting in your life and this new thing is gonna make you so happy that you don't know whether you uh, you should cry or laugh from the joy from the happiness you are feeling this can be a new relationship this can be a new chapter in a relationship can be associated with marriage uh, engagement birth of a child something that's a new start, a new beginning that make you make you uh, make your uh, cups filled with joy and happiness. So, happiness is definitely coming into your life that you've been wishing for, and it's gonna come fast because you have the next card as the eight of wands. Eight of wands is definitely can be associated with uh, when. Things are speeding up in your life. Uh, swift movement uh, can be associated with news, messages uh, that are coming into your life. It can be also associated with a trip. So maybe, especially like, you know, when you, I look at the angle of the chariot tower and the eight of wands, uh, there might be uh, something that happened on a trip uh, for some of you. Um, but, you know, the eight of wands is news, positive news. Uh, some of you might be getting messages. Uh, some of you might be can have somebody stepping in your life, and and, uh, and 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 suddenly you just fall in love with this person out of the blue, right? Because it is coming from the moon, which is the shadow, and out of the blue, you have this person coming into your life. That's uh, that. That makes your feelings uh, develop very fast because you know the eight of wands is also associated with the arrows of cupid so some of you might get fall in love with somebody very fast and that might be actually worrying you right you're like oh my god how can i be uh falling in love so fast like i don't know this person maybe it's gonna be on a trip maybe this new love is coming like out of the blue and that's what's kind of scaring you um but let's see what is at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck, you do have the Hermit energy. The Hermit, which is uh, an indication that you're looking for um, your true happiness, your true calling. You are rethinking uh, your life from a relationship perspective. What is that you want from love? What is that you want from a certain relationship? And some of you are kind of choosing to go solo when the Hermit comes up because you'd rather be alone than than just be in a relationship and again like you know the spirit has your back in terms of your plans so um so you know keep uh keep that uh in, in front of you that you know there's something that you're trying to achieve here and there's definitely great happiness with the ace of cups and with the star energy that's coming into your life so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.